In this video, I will show how to speed up the creation of accurate floor plans based on 3D point clouds and what specialized tools we built in this Undet software suite to do it. First, to use Undet specialized tools we need to start a new drawing and select the Undet floor plan template. When this is done, we can switch the workspace into Undet floor plans. After switching workspace, we will find the adapted workspace, which is divided into separate tabs for each process stage of floor plans creation. Project Setup tab, to load point cloud and set up axis, fit marks. Section View tab, to draw walls, add doors and windows. Floor View tab, to draw all objects from section lines to floors. And the Ceiling View tab, draw all objects from section lines to ceilings. So, let's get back to the Project Setup tab. There we will find tools to group point cloud files into logical groups. Scan stations grouping can be done using manual tools or auto grouping tools. Once this is done, we should set fit marks around the area of interest. And the last important step is to determine the drawing plane. To do this, we will be using familiar CAD tools to set UCS. The project setup is completed, and we can move to the next process stage. In the next process stage, we will find tools to vectorize section line view from point clouds, draw walls, insert openings, windows and door blocks. To show you how these tools work, we will use this sample drawing and add missing lines and objects. We will use fast layer selection tool and familiar lines vectorization tools to draw missing walls. After vectorizing the walls, we can draw columns or openings. We have special tools for that as well. Next, we can insert the doors with just a few clicks of the mouse. Specialized tools will allow you to insert the door block while creating openings and adjust the block's type and direction. After inserting the doors, we can move on to the windows. What a particular window should look like depends on the level of detail you want. We can have the profiles drawn in detail and insert the window frame block. Alternatively, using another tool, we can insert a window block while creating an opening simultaneously. As you can see, it is super simply to fulfill drawing with doors and windows blocks, and we can move to the next process stage. In this process stage, we will fulfill the drawing with objects and lines visible from section line to floors. So, in the Furniture and Service menu section, we can find dynamic blocks of sanitary objects, together with layer selection tools to vectorize them manually. And using a built-in dynamic blocks, we could very simply mark sanitary objects. After adding these blocks, we can slice the point cloud to see only floors and change coloring mode into by plane to see floor plan changes better. Select the suitable layers and draw steps or floors height changes lines. And the last general process stage of floor plan vectorization is ceiling view to draw objects visible from section lines to ceilings, beams, soffits and changes in ceiling lines. To better see changes in the ceiling geometry, we can use the same coloring mode which we use to see changes in floors, coloring by plane. Using the fast layer selection tool, we can select the suitable layer and vectorize objects we need, for example, these beams. And after finishing line work for floor plans vectorization based on point clouds, we can move to annotation process. To see Undet specialized tools for annotations please follow the next video.